so again, more on the idea of progress in the LGBT spectrum. Um, so I've been on this dating site, and this dating site has all these straight boys coming onto it, looking for trans girls a lot of the time. Um, this is a real interesting kind of phenomenon. Like one of the reasons why I do this vlog is not necessarily LGBT stuff. It's also, I stopped talking about it, but basically to generate like a level of compassion, a level of understanding and hence compassion and then peace in the world, right? Just kind of my two cents to make the world a better place. I remember when I first, or when, around the time I started blogging, um, a lot of the other girls who had transitioned were talking about, uh, you, know, you have to tell him, you have to tell him, otherwise he'll beat you. And if he beats you, it's your fault. And then they were telling this to each other, telling this to each other. And I, I kind of stood back and I was like, hold up a second, right? Hold up a second. It's my fault? It would be my fault, right? If some guy got down there and discovered I was somebody who transitioned and I was pre-op. And if I did that and they kicked the shit out of me, that it was my fault. I was like, no, 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 no. That, that's, that's backwards. Right? And, and propagating it to each other is backwards. You know, should you tell them? Yes, right? Because you want to avoid getting the shit kicked out of you. But should you have to? I don't think so. Right? And that was my point. My point was that, you know, what, how things should be is that we should live in a much more compassionate, understanding society where like straight boys are kicking the shit out of trans girls, you know, or, or gay men or refusing to hire lesbians or paranoid bisexuals and so forth and so forth and so forth, right? It's changed. We no longer talk about this anymore. This is no longer a topic of discussion really. And when I'm on an LGBT site, there's all these street boys who come in, right? And they're they're looking for trans girls, and they're you know they're like well, maybe a beat date like a a non-binary person who was originally female or something along this line, or a non-binary person who has a vagina. Um, and this is kind of monumental. Like, like in a short period of time, there has been like a lot, a lot of progress, you know, and, and when transgenderism or transgenderism started becoming a popular thing, you know, I, I would say starting around the time of Caitlyn Jenner, it became a popular thing because she used her clout to kind of come out and, uh, And it's been kind of escalating and now now we're into kind of like transgenderism and even transgenderism like i was talking in the previous vlog is not necessarily a bad thing right is it's a bit off the wall i don't know i don't know i mean maybe like sometimes it's a bit off the wall but everything everything that they kind of like comes to fruition fruition in like collective social consciousness goes kind of like wonky at some point you know it becomes a bit absurd and ridiculous at some point but this sort of means that it's it has become commonplace a commonplace mainstay sort of thing right and and in this case you know you have these straight boys coming into an lgbt site you know rubbing elbows with gay dudes rubbing elbows with non-binary people, rubbing elbows with trans girls, rubbing out or trans men or non-binary or rubbing elbows with all kinds of people, right? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And 
And that that is, in in my opinion, fairly fairly monumental. In my opinion, if if you can bring in the people who are the bashers, you know, traditionally, you know, I'm not saying these guys in general, but I, I like traditionally the, you know, it was like straight guys who, you know, when I was growing up were bashing gay dudes largely, you know, and and to say that we, we don't live in a somewhat patriarchal society is bunk, right? So this is a good thing. But was was my talking about how um, we should we shouldn't be saying you know like you have to tell him you have to tell him was that the reason why that happened not necessarily it may have had nothing to do with it but definitely caused a row a stir with like other trans girls and hopefully. The, Nobody understand the point, or everybody took the point and twist around so they can like use it for content. <laughs> half full, glass is half full, right? Um, I, I mean, I think we're kind of past that now.